Hi, I'm Alistair. I'm a bass player and gig performer user, and I'm here to show you how the new custom fonts can help the look, feel, and usability of gig performer. I think you're really going to like this. Custom fonts is a new feature which will be coming soon in a new update of version 4 of gig performer, which will be free to all current desk queue license holders. First of all, I'd like to show you how to add custom fonts to your rack spaces. Of course, before you can actually use the custom fonts, you have to enable it. So if I go up in to options here, select display, we get this right down here in widgets, right at the bottom, allow lo local fonts in labels. And if you enable that, all of your fonts show up. If you click on that, the whole list, these four at the bottom come as standard, and then everything above that is your local font list. And if the font has a bold variation, then this will work and you'll be able to make the font bold. And if it has an italic variation, that will work. So let's have a look at this one, the venerable Boss HM2 heavy metal pedal. In the previous version of Gig Performer, this is pretty much the best I could manage. I'm pretty pleased with it, but uh, I think we can do better. Right, let's go into edit mode. First thing I want to do is we now have an orange knob, and anyone that knows the HM2 knows that it has an orange knob. So let's drag these over. Oh, replace. Boom, you don't have to reassign anything. It just replaces the look of the knob. Right, let's have a look at this. So this is the standard font that was in gig performer before it's pretty good it's nice and readable and if that's all you need it's perfect but i like something a little bit more um colorful shall we say so what i found a uh, trademarker there we go now that looks a bit more like it right let's just make that one more or less the same and uh, I decided I didn't like the eight at the beginning, so, but we can do better. Right, so we've got the knobs on and here I found a better boss font, which rejoices in the uh, surprising name of Boss, so that would be that. So pretty similar, but different. Now, if anyone that actually owns one of these pedals knows that I didn't get it quite right, you can see the, the font for that is slightly better now, the, the rounded M. But it says heavy metal across the top, and I haven't done that yet. So I need to make this a little bit smaller change where it's centered so, so i can easily line it up with that with a line right there we go now i need the label that says heavy metal So what I can do here is copy that and then select on there. And now we have paste special where we can uh, paste the font or the color or both. And I think we'll go with both. Oh yes, that's more like it. Change the size, try and get it to sit. Well, there we go. I think I just want that a little bit wider and we get bit more size out of that font yeah I think that's pretty good how's that looking mm -hmm. marvelous right so as earlier I was talking about bold and italic versions of the fonts let's see what that can do I go for oh, missed that bold that definitely looks more like the uh, actual pedal but I did find a font on the Mac which 
is even closer. It's just got the right shape M and the letters are a bit chunkier. So let's, let's just copy that. Oh no, I hit the wrong. Let's just copy that. Paste it onto there. Right. And this one you can even do with the built in fonts. It was the, the first thing I did, and it just absolutely made my day when I saw this. Change to the serif font, go italic, and it's, it's perfect. Right, now we've seen how easy it is to uh, change to custom fonts, change the sizes, add bold or italic, or both if you really need to. Let's just see what it's possible to do with this if you have a little bit too much time on your hands. So, here's uh, my virtual pedal board. When I first got Geek Performer, I thought it's a really good idea because I was used to using man, you know, proper analog pedals to have it all laid out the same way. And for sound design, it's absolutely brilliant. And having the interface looking like this helps me you know, get into it. It feels a bit more like using real pedals. So without the custom fonts, this is where we were. And it's it's pretty good. People like it. I you know, show it to your bandmates, the Sandman likes it. But with the custom fonts, we can get a little bit more, more interesting. This one in particular, very pleased to be able to find that font for this version of the pedal, uh, which I can't show you because it's buried in that board over there. I'm not picking that up. This font on the Mutron here uh, called Eurostyle, I'm pretty certain it comes with a Mac. It's always been on mine. And so many of the companies are using it for their, their graphics. I mean, it's on the music channel. It's Mutron, MXR, pretty much using that, that font. They certainly do on the uh, microsynth and the bass microsynth. Uh, this old Gaia Tone pedal that I've copied here, that was using uh, Eurostyle as well. It's a really clear but quite stylish font, so uh, I'd even use it if I was making one up uh, like this. But that wasn't enough. When I started working on uh, what I wanted to show on this video, I just thought, I could do better. So here we are. This is the virtual pedal board version three. Um, the pedals that have changed anyway. The latest version of the small stone just made that a little bit more accurate. Got the right boldness on the uh, MXR and that, that stands out beautifully. Um, changed the bass chorus so it actually says bass chorus because that's what boss pedals do. They have the name on them. This was a tricky one to find. This isn't quite the right font but it's, it's really pretty close. Uh, just for convenience for the, the knobs, uh, the original version of this uh, Booker's Green bass machine is a lovely overdrive pedal, but the bass knob was actually a little um, trim knob on the side of the pedal. So I originally did it like this and made it look like the version one of the pedal, which is what I own. But the latest version has four big knobs on the top and it's just a bit easier. So we've gone there. Oh, this really quite pleased with this one. Uh, being able to find the right kind of three for the front of it. This is uh, a vein tap dark triad, which is uh, made in England by a young lad who does terribly well. And uh, and it's a clone of a Marshall Governor pedal. And it looks like this. I couldn't quite get the uh, crackle finish, but I did manage to uh, get a graduated thing there just by having a number of overlays of partly see-through black. So at the bottom, it's like four layers. And then that one's three layers, two layers, one layer. It just gets that graduation nicely. Quite pleased with that. Um, this one, getting the lines for the, the scale, Absolute nightmare, don't want to talk about it, but it looks great. So custom fonts is just one of the uh, fantastic new features that are coming in the next update of Gig Performer. If you look in the link down below, you can get a free 14 day trial. I, I did it and look where I am now. And this update will be free to any existing Deskew Gig Performer customers. It'll be worth every penny. Thank you very much for bearing with me and uh, enjoying my virtual pedal board with me and the uh, journey it took to get there. If you want to learn more, click on either of the two videos which are on your screen now.